and everyone else feels him down here, and turns out that Resident Evil 7 Beginning Hour has an update starting right after the PlayStation experience. Turns out that this has a new update where it features a new room. You can actually get a gun and fight, and there's another, you can fight one of the enemies that would be Resident Evil 7. I don't know what it's called, but I got a glimpse of it, and it turns out it's a giant black weird looking like tentacle thing that reminds me of like that leech that leech monster you fight in Resident Evil Zero. And there's also a new ending. Um I know how I don't know how to I know like a general idea of like how to get a new ending. It involves like getting a key and the attic. That's basically all I know. So I wanna find out I wanna see what this new monster is. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and leave in the comment section what do you hope to expect in Resident Evil 7. When the game comes out, what do you hope to expect? Like, what do you want to see? For me personally, I want to see the return of zombies and good old horror. So, I guess, like, the whole thing is, like, basically, like, I think that's the only thing that they added to, to this, um, to the demo, to update the demo, is you get a new gun. Or you get a gun. You don't get a new gun. You get a gun. Um, you can fight. I don't know if you can fight it. I know you see it. I know you see it, but I don't know if you can actually fight it. I'm pretty sure you... <coughs> like, you know, why else would... Okay, yeah, let's skip, let's skip that one, because we already... Or, we already seen that. we already seen that. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the comment section to the original Resident Evil um, 7 demo video I did. I'll leave a link in the comment section for that. But, like, I'm just going to plow through this, because I basically know what to do. I want to plow through this. I want to check out all the new updates. Um, I know how to get the hatchet. Um, yeah, there's actually a hatchet in this game. You can get a hatchet. And I think I, I think I showed you guys that at, in the last video of Resident Evil 7. I think it's actually really, it's, it's, it's really, really easy to miss the hatchet. What you gotta do is, um, when you put the VCR in the thing and you, like, do the whole flashback thing, um, what you do is there's a lockpick in that kitchen. You go to the lockpick. And then you use the lockpick on that locked um, case, and then you open that, and then when you go back to the real world, it, okay. So, yeah, here's here's the uh, fuse. We need a fuse for that. We it closes, doesn't it? it? Yeah, it closes. And then oh shit, no, the battery. My battery's low. No, okay, VCR. If I remember correctly, there is a switch. Yeah, there's a switch here. There's a switch here. I press this. This opens up the a secret passageway on here. Oh, here we go. Open the secret passageway here. Um, if I remember correctly, there's nothing here. There is. Oh no, the fuse is here. The fuse is here. Here we go. The fuse is here. Uh, ew, cockroach. Yeah, this is how you go down here. This is where like you break from the VCR thing. So guys, PC experience. Let's let's talk about that for a second. Um. I've heard nothing but great things about the PlayStation Experience. I heard nothing but oh, yeah, that was there, but still fucking creepy. I heard nothing but great things, like Uncharted, like a new Uncharted. That's like one of the reasons why I never trust game companies when they say, "Oh, this is gonna be the dummy finger." I, I still don't know where the fuck that's supposed to go. I still don't know why the fuck that's there. Like, why the hell is there a dummy finger? I don't know why it's there, but it's it's there. But the, that's why I never trust game company when they say it's gonna be like the last game in the trilogy. Okay, so when you go here in the VCR sequence, when you go here, this thing is locked. That's where the hatch is. The hatch is in there. What you do is, you go here, get a lock pick from there, and then you go over here, unlock this, and you leave it open. And then that's how you get the, um, and then when you go back to the real world, you just come back and the hatch is in there. That's why, okay, that's why I never, like, trust, um, game companies when they say it's gonna be the last game in the series. Cause they did the same thing with God of War. Where they were like, oh, God of War 3 is gonna be, like, the last God of War. And, oh! Okay! Mm. I still very, I still don't like the whole meat thing. Just gonna close the door. Oh, I can't close doors? What? What? I, oh, okay, that's... I don't know if I I want to close the door. Cause I don't trust I don't, I don't trust I don't trust that baby. I don't, I don't trust that demon baby. But they said that God of War three was gonna be the last God of War, and I kind of let slide. And they made it came out with Ascension like next two years, two or three years. Wait, I think it was like I think it was literally I think it was literally like the next year or next two years. Oh excuse me, they came out with God of War Ascension, 
And yeah, I can, you know, I'll let that slide because maybe they said it would be like the last God War game where Chris' story moves forward. I'd be like, oh, okay, that's gross. That, that's fucking gross. Like, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll let that slide. Like, okay, maybe they said they meant, you know, it would be the last God War game where you move forward with Kratos. But, but no, but no, they, they introduced God War 4. Like, last year, in God War 4. So, like, like, what the fuck? So you just lied to us then? Like, the fuck? Okay. Okay, nothing, nothing new here. And, oh! <sighs> fucking mannequin, dude. Lucky I don't have my freaking hatchet. I'll hatchet your fucking head off. Fucking, I hate, I hate when mannequins do that. I hate it. When mannequins, like, turn up by themselves and look at you and do weird shit. I do not like that horror games. I love it, but I hate it. I'm like, oh my gosh, the mannequin! Are the mannequins gonna be enemies? It reminds me. Oh, I think this is the. I think this is it. I think this is the new area. Yeah, here we go. This is the new area. Uh, why is this one area of the house so more messed up than that area? Like, okay, he does it. He does it. Okay, this, this is all new to me, guys. This is all new to me. So I'm very, I'm very like terrified. <gasps> handgun ammo. I don't know one bullet for the handgun, but you know what? Fuck it. That means we're gonna get the handgun soon. In Resident Evil Logic, if we get ammo for a gun that we don't have, it means we're gonna get it very soon. Oh. What the fuck? Who the hell leaves a bicycle in a shower? Okay, who the heck takes a shower with a bike? Nothing less a blood shower. There's no water to the tank. Oh. So maybe we gotta find like a valve or something. Turn that on, that turns the water off, and maybe there's like a key item. Maybe the gun's like in the bathtub. Cause in the first Resident Evil, there was like a dagger in the bathtub, or a small key, depending on who you play as. If you play as Jill, um, there was a dagger in the bathtub, but if you play as Chris, it was a small key. What the f a blank notebook? What the heck? Why is there a blank notebook? Is there a, can I examine it more? No, that's... That's it? Okay. Okay, so I have a blank notebook. I don't know where the hell that goes, but... What the heck? A telephone pole, and looks to be, like, the woods. Okay, I don't know why that's any of importance. I really don't know why, but I'm gonna... Can I not zoom in? I... What the hell? Look at that. Oh. My. Freaking goodness. Please, please be locked. It's locked. How much you wanna bet that's where the um, the new enemy is? How much you wanna bet we go down there and the enemies the new enemies can be like right there? How much you wanna bet that cause like if I know Resident Evil Horror Games, locked door, a messed up looking locked door leading to a dark and disturbed place means you're about to either fight a boss or you're about to fight a really big Ooh. More handgun ammo. Yes! Give me all the handgun! You think you're gonna fight either a big boss or a very big boss is gonna kill you. One of those two things is gonna happen. Okay, so let me get the hatchet first. Let me go and get the hatchet, because I do not, I, I do not feel comfortable fighting that boss without a hatchet, but, let me go. Oh wait, let me go, let me see if there's anything new in the attic. Let me go see if there's anything new in the attic. May, may, maybe, the, maybe the gun's in the attic now. I don't know where the gun is, but I really want the gun. <laughs> Just give me the gun. Please give me the gun. Oh, if I had wait, if I had the gun, that means I can shoot that weird guy that tried to kill me at the end. Oh, I apologize because like I am like I'm, I'm kind of sick. I'm a little bit sick. My nose is stuffy. You know, ugh, it's, ugh. my throat hurts a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm even sick. But you know what? I'll, I'll persevere. I'll persevere. Okay, okay whatever. You, okay, don't look at if you look at a photo, you're gonna get the ending. You gonna get like um the ultimate uh, second ending. So look, yeah, look at the photo. It looks like on the side of the photo, it looks like the Brother Corporation signal. Don't pick up, yeah, I think don't like touch the phone or the photo because that's how you get the other ending. This is new. I don't, I don't remember this. This is new. I remember in the other one, this whole place is blocked off. So this is all, this is new. This place is new. Okay, anything? Basement key. Oh. You know what? You know what? I'm not going in that basement until I get the hatchet. I am not fucking going near that shit without the hatchet. <gasps> Wait, I guess I, I think this is like the other way to get out. Yeah, this is another way to get out. Because before, in the other demo, the only way to escape is by the other floor. 
Okay, that's locked. The only way to escape is through the other floor. And, yeah, to, to the basement, that's the only way to escape. Yeah, the only way to escape is to the basement, but that's another way to escape, so... Here's what I'm thinking. We go and fight the boss, that weird monster thing. We... Tr maybe we kill it, or maybe, like, you know, there's, like, a key that leads us there, out, like, in there. And then we take that, and we escape. I think so. But let, let me go get my hatchet. Let me get the hatchet. I, I do not want to go near that shit without my hatchet. I shall dash them against the stones. Okay, but I'm just... Let me get my hatchet out. I, I, I don't want to go near that monster thing without my hatchet. I need defensive materials. I, I, would, I would at least take, like, a freaking chair. Okay, I'm pretty sure a chair to a monster face. I give up. If I was a monster, if I was, like, a mutant, like, zombie monster thing, if I got a chair to the face, I'd be like, uh-uh, I'm done. I'd be like, done. I'd be like, oh, Jill, oh, your time has come. The second she hits me with that face with the chair, I'd be like, oh, fuck, you know what, Jill? You know what? I, you know what? You got it. You know, here's the key item you need. You got it. Just, just, no. No. I'm pretty sure, like, if I could be any Resident Evil character, I'll definitely be Leon. Like, straight up. Without a, okay, male Resident Evil characters, I'll be Leon. Female, Claire. Like, there's no second doubt. Claire or Leon. Because those, those two are, like, the most bad... Me, personally, the most badass, like, characters in, like, Resident history. Resident Evil 2 was, like, a fantastic game. And the fact that they're coming out with a remake is fun... They better not fuck it up. That's all I gotta say. They better not fuck it up. Because Resident Evil 2 was one of my favorite classical horror games. And they better not ruin it. They better not ruin it. They give it... They should give it the treatment that they gave it to Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1 remake. Because those two remakes were decently... They were great. They were a great remake. They both they combined both modern and old school um, gameplay features, and the f they better do it like Resident Evil One, because the way they did it in the Resident Evil One remake was that it was the same but different. Like there were different areas and all that in the game, but it's still it was still like the same game. Like Lisa and like the whole thing with Lisa and all that that wasn't in the original game. I think the whole outside thing. Where you, like go to the outside cabin with Lisa and like encounter Lisa, or you go into a basement and like do the whole like little escape from Lisa thing. That wasn't like in the original game. Lisa was no, nothing related to Lisa was in the original Resident Evil. And they're able to incorporate that into the new Resident Evil and still make it look as good as the old one. So that's that's props. I really want them to do that in um, Resident Evil Two remake. And the fact that Resident Evil Two remake. Um, it's two separate stories. It's not like... Oh, here it is. Here's the lockpick. Alright. I'll tell you right after this. You take the lockpick, and then you go over here to this one. You, you unlock it, and then you leave it open. Right? Yeah. You leave it open. And then, once you go back, it's closed. You just open it again, and boom. There goes the hatchet. Um... Because Resident Evil 2, they were two different stories. It's not like Resident Evil 1, where it was where it was like two different characters, but the story was like generally the same. Like the story was like generally the same. Resident Evil 2, it was different. Claire's and Leon's story were two totally different stories. You 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 look at totally different people. You encounter totally different people. You you know encounter totally different bosses. You encounter you know different scenario. It's like different, and that's why I love about Resident Evil 2. You got two games for the price of one. I that was my fantastic. Shots. Although, uh, make a great backdrop. You know, Andre, and that's what I like. And wh what I really Andre? want to see, like, I, they're probably not going to do this, but it's going to be like a great, Andre? like, throwback and then great, like, Andre? nod to the history of Resident Evil. Is that they include, like, a DLC or, like, a side story featuring the original, oh, you know, I idea for Claire Redfield. Like, when Resident Evil 2 was um, first, no, guy. um, thought of, it wasn't Leon and Claire. It was actually Leon and Elsa Walker. And those two stories were told were again like totally different. And Elsa Walker if I remember correctly, Elsa Walker was a um, motorcycle enthusiast college student. Where she was like a college student um attending I don't know like went to Raccoon City for like vacation I think. Something like that. Guess what? Yeah, attending, like, um, Raccoon City for, like, you know, semi break or, like, you know, a break from her class Andre? and all that. And that's when all the events of, Res of Resident Evil 2 happens. And she has to, like, find a way to escape and all that. But I think they, they took out Elsa Walker and replaced her with Claire Redfield so they could make a Andre, strong you, connection man? to the first game. 
Which, which is, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Claire Redfield was an amazing character. And uh, her spinoff games, Revelations 2 and Code Veronica X, they are both phenomenal games. But it still led the question of, like, you know, Elsa Walker. Because I really wanted to know more about Elsa Walker. And, you know, she could still be, like, a side character. Like, they should still could be, like, a, um, a, a uh, side story. Or, like, a, you know, like a, like a side game. What the hell? Featuring Elza Walker and like change the story, but the difference is that with Elza Walker, I kind of like hickory like on that. Like, because with Claire Redfield, there was room for improvement, there was room for her to like advance in the story. But with Elza Walker, I do, I don't really see like with her, you know, coincidence. It was like okay, it was just like a one time thing. I like with Claire, it was like oh, they could like they 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 let out all the oh she's still searching for her brother and the search for her brother led her to you know the island that's also filled with zombies and all that. But unlike Elsa Walker, where she didn't have any motivation but just to survive the city, and I think yeah they should have at least incorporated at least like in Resident Evil Six, they should have had like a story with Elsa Walker because Resident Evil Six when you play as Leon's story. There is a, I think it was in chapter one, yeah, in chapter one, you are in like a, a you're in a university, and that would have been a perfect time to incorporate an Elsa Walker story, because it could have been like, you know, as simple as Elsa Walker escaping the madness in the city, in, in their, in their college. I shall dash, you get, yeah, no you won't, because I'm going to get a hatchet, and I'm going to hatchet you in the face. It could have been as easy as Elsa Walker trying to survive the university attack. And all that. It could be. It, it didn't even have to be like a major like plot point. Where they said it could have just been like a DLC story. It could have easily just been like you know a simple two or three chapter DLC story of Elsa Walker escaping you know the city. See, here we go. Hatchet. Fucking bring it on. Okay. Now. Ugh. Now I'm ready to face that. Whatever the fuck that thing is downstairs. Now I'm ready to face that. Now I'm ready to fight that. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Huzzah! Okay. Alright, right here, here we go. Attack. Okay. Block. Okay, block. Attack. Yes. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Okay. 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 Easy does it. Easy does it. Hey, monster! Monster, look, look, I'm coming down here just to get the key item, so if you please not try to kill me, that'd be... Ooh, another lockpick. Do I have room for that? If I have room for that, that means... What do I need the lockpick for? You know what? Let me... Let me leave that there for now. Woo! I heard that. Oh, fell. So good. <gasps> you asshole! You asshole! Let me out! Oh, 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 get off of me! Get off of me! Oh, oh, oh. Fucking asshole! Okay, bring it! Oh. Fucking asshole! Either a gun or a key to get the fuck out of here. Come on, come on. Gun or key. Gun or key. Gun. Or gun. Okay. Okay, gun. Come on, give me gun. Give me gun. Give me gun. We got four shots. We got four shots. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I have four shots. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I have four. Freaking oh, 
Please be ammo. Please be ammo. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Fucking dare. Come on. Hoorah! Hoorah! Come on. Come on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready! I'm ready. Freddy! Adequate, yes! Anything else? Anything else? Oh! 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 Okay! Back! Oh, fuck! Up! Dude! Shit, I'm out of ammo. I am already out of fucking ammo. Okay. I'm taking your ass out once and for all! Fuck is he? Oh! Ugh! Fuck out! No, 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 no! Okay! That's my cue to go! I am a low on health. I am a low on health. I'm not. Can we come back? If it just disappeared and it doesn't come back, I can easily just. No, 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 don't, no, no, you open this door. Open this fucking door. Leave this door open. Leave that. Don't fucking play with me, game. Don't do this, game. What the fuck did I say? Fucking door not thing. Okay. Okay, I think it's gone. I think he's gone. <coughs> okay. I hate that. That dull in on it. Anything else? Any ammo? Please be ammo. No. No. Okay. Okay. I think okay, the good news is I think he's gone. Once he bashes it in the floor, he's gone. That's a good thing. The fuck? I heard that. Stop. 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 Moving. Stop. Fucking moving. Can I, can I unlock any of this? No. 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 Okay. Okay. Guess we're out. I guess we're out. Bye. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Zombie Felicia! I'm out! Peace! Okay. Okay, I have no health items, so I am freaking out, because if that thing comes out, if that thing like appears anywhere, I'm screwed. I am just screwed. If I, that thing comes out anywhere, I'm screwed. Okay. Ugh. What the fuck? I'm infected? What the fuck? I'm infected! I wonder. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Open up. Oh, alright, alright. All right. <laughs> Already it's open. Come on. Come on. I don't know why the hell I have a blank freaking gun, but you know what? They don't know that. <coughs> yeah. I'm fucking infected. I'm infected. Come on, we can do this. Just, oh, I can feel it inside of me. Oh, I feel it changing me. Oh, it's too tasty. It's too tasty. It's too tasty. Oh, I hate photograph. It's a tasty, it's a tasty. Ugly face, ugly face, I kill. It's a tasty, it's a tasty. Oh, I feel it. Itchy tasty, itchy tasty, itchy tasty. Tasty, itchy, 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 tasty, tasty. Oh, come on, let's get out of here. Itchy tasty, I must. Oh, come on. Oh, it's taking off. Oh, I'm dead for Itchy tasty. Tasty itchy. Must eat. Shit. Itchy tasty. Boy, you are nothing. Just a man nothing. So that was the new ending? The affected ending? Oh my gosh, the terror continues on Resident Evil 7. Biohazard. Released January 24th? Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a series on this. I'm definitely doing a series on this. So that was the infected ending. So I guess instead of escaping, I get infected with wherever that virus is and turn to one of them. So that, that's a really interesting factor, because does that mean I can get infected in the game as well? Like, if I get hit too many times by the enemy, does that mean I can get, I'll get infected by that thing as well? And if that's the case, is there like a cure or like a vaccine I can, I can use to prevent the infection? I don't know. Leave in the comment section what do you think happens when you get infected or get hit like that in the actual game. So that's going to be it for the Resident Evil 7 beginning hour demo. Well, next time you see me in Resident Evil 7, it'll be in the first part of the Resident Evil series I'm doing. I, I really want to play more of this because I really want to see if um they can actually bring Resident Evil 7 back to its horror roots or they're just going to fuck it up. Just like they did with Resident Evil 6, but it was just too much action, not enough horror. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you all when Resident Evil 7 comes out on January 24th, 2017. Oh. Yeah.
Good to me. But what I can do, I'm assuming we should pass this. 